up until it was destroyed in the early parts of Thor Ragnarok, and even more through its second life. One of Mjolnir's most iconic qualities was the strap that it was often held by while it was being spun at incredible speeds. Now most of you will know what Mjolnir is, but what you might not know is the truth behind its strap. While you may think that Thor spinning his hammer is a cool visual aspect of him launching into the skies, it may actually hide a much deeper secret. For all we know, Thor may just be a genius physicist. Now you may be thinking, Abhimanyu, what planet are you on? Certainly not Asgard since you have no idea about anything Thor related. But stick with me for a minute. And in just a few minutes, you will agree with me too. But before that, you will need to understand the concept of momentum. So what is momentum? We can understand all of this from a simple equation. P is equal to M multiplied by V. What this formula means is one simple sentence. The momentum P of a particle or object is the product of its mass, how heavy it is, and its velocity, where and how fast it's going. Quite simple, right? Another thing about momentum is that it is what we call a vector quantity, something that has both a magnitude and a direction, as you may remember from my video about vectors. This means that the direction of the force matters. You might be thinking, how does this connect to Mjolnir at all? This is just some inane physics concept. But like I said, stick with me. Look at Mjolnir for a second. It has a really heavy block of metal on one side and a relatively light handle on the other. Therefore, when comparing the body as a whole, the mass is mostly concentrated where the hammer head is. So now let's take that head and consider it to be a particle with mass m. When Thor spins his hammer using the strap, he is spinning it really fast so he can create some velocity in a certain direction. Velocity in circular motion is always taken to be at 90 degrees to the radius of the direction of motion. So we can therefore understand how the particle is moving and consider its velocity to be v at any given instant. So now let's try to understand how Thor's flying really starts. He spins his hammer, which has a mass capital M on one side. Now that mass has attained a certain velocity, capital V, which is in the direction and the speed that he wants. Once he's done that, he just releases by stopping his spinning and thrusting forward. Now that mass M is moving with velocity V, it takes off in the desired direction with the momentum of capital M multiplied by capital V. And because the momentum is high enough and Thor is attached to the mass because of the strap, the momentum extends to him as well and he gets a massive boost to start flying solely through the power of momentum. You have been watching another episode of Super Science. This is the show where I show you how superheroes use physics and you absorb this information and become a physics master yourself. Don't forget to like, subscribe, read comics and watch movies. Super Science out!